In the warm heart of Africa, on the southern shores of Lake Malawi, lies the most picturesque village known as Chembe, or otherwise Cape Maclear. Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel. So I am in a stunning location. I am in Cape Maclear in the southern part of Lake Malawi. It is absolutely beautiful here. And it's almost like the little Côte d'Azur of Malawi. It's the beaches are stunning. There's this honey colored sand and when the sun is shining the water looks a turquoise color. It looks like a small place but there's actually 18,000 people who live here in this village. It's a little tucked away. You have to come here on some pretty beaten up roads but it's so worth the journey and I have just been loving it. So I'm really excited to show you guys around and show you where I'm staying. I'm staying at a place called Warm Heart Adventure Lodge and it's right here on the shores of the lake. My room is overlooking it. I'm so excited just to take in my beautiful surroundings and show you guys and bring you along. The beach is directly in front here and it's just so so beautiful. There's always so much going on but look at how stunning it is. It's just amazing and yes there's chickens on the beach, little beach chickens, but they're not friendly like the ones that I met in Botswana. And there's Thumbi Island. I love it. The sunsets behind that island are just amazing. Every day the beaches are super busy with people. People are washing their dishes like over there. I think someone's washing their dishes. People come wash their laundry. They take baths here. It just serves all their purposes. There's all of these beautiful beach huts here and I'm staying in one of those. I'm going to give you a tour shortly. But yeah, none of the none of the mats are out because there's nobody here at the moment so yeah the mats are just hanging up at the moment but yeah there was one person sitting on the beach and there's a chicken running around back up here on the deck it's actually the deck to a room and it has such a nice view just like all the decks but the room actually has like two bunk beds a double bed and another little single bed here sitting area bathroom, little kitchen over there so whoever stays in this room gets to cook. Yeah, I love this room. The beach is literally right behind me outside this little main house that I just showed you guys and directly in front of me is the road. So it's like a main road through the village. There's a little sitting area there. And there's a tent put up. I'm not sure what the tent is for, but there is a tent there. I am in love with my room. I literally just love waking up here every day. This is my little deck. This is my room and I absolutely love my room. It's so cozy. I love the walls, just how it's built the screens and there's little birds that are always in here so every morning the little birds are always flying around which I happen to love I don't mind they don't like poo in my room or anything so I think uh, they're potty trained but yeah I totally love my room I love this big bug net and then my bathroom is also one of my favorite spots check that out Look at that outdoor shower. I am all about outdoor showers. Look at how amazing these windows are. I just love sitting here, working, looking out my windows. Oh, as soon as I wake up in the morning, I open up my windows and then I go out there. And there's always coffee and tea waiting for me. So I go have a coffee and a tea. Not even kidding. I really do have a coffee and a tea every morning. Have my one coffee and then I go right onto the green tea next. So yeah, I have my coffee and my tea every morning and it's just pure, pure bliss here. It's really hard for me to decide what I prefer more, the mornings and the sunrises by the island or the sunsets because the sunsets are just unreal every day. Every day they're a little different. They bring something new, but every day they're just absolutely mind-blowingly beautiful. And that's like one of my favorite things to do here is watch the sunset, sit on my little deck and just take in what mother nature has on offer for us here.
there is the chance that you could get Bilharzia. I think I'm saying that correct, Bilharzia. I'll put the name here on the screen. Um, when you swim here, it's a little parasite from snails, but it's nothing to be afraid of because it's actually super easy to treat. There's only one dose of pills that you need to take and that's going to take care of it for you. So it's nothing to really fear. I haven't actually really gotten in and gone swimming yet. Just put my feet in, but uh, you actually get it through the bottom of your feet. So I'm still fine and I'm pretty sure we shower in this water and everything. So it's really nothing to be afraid of. But the water is so, so super beautiful. I don't think you want to miss out on going for a swim in it. Almost every day in the morning, you'll have guys walking by here carrying fish. So if you want to buy some fresh fish, you can definitely do that. One fish is about 1,000 kwacha. So it's so nice just to get fresh fish. There's also a fish market up the, up the beach there. So if you really want to go to the fish market in the morning, when all the fish are laid out and I think they also cook some in pots that's also an option go and get some fresh fish don't be on Lake Malawi and not eat some fish I am seriously just so super grateful to be here every day I'm just filled with immense gratitude you can take the road through town or you can also walk along the beach, which is pretty amazing. This is my favorite vegetable stand here. There's vegetable stands all over town, but this happens to be the one that I always come to. And he has really, really good stuff. Getting a fresh wrap made from scratch. massive tree it's huge and I love we're surrounded by mountains so the landscape here is just amazing the drive here was unreal it was so beautiful there is an actual vegetable market in town but it's a little bit of a further walk and I'm actually gonna be posting a separate video about the market for you in the next few days so stay tuned for that I do love it here. It's just such a nice little village. And the best part is, no matter where you walk, the beach is still so accessible and the lake is right there. And there's motorbikes. That is how you get around, like taxi-wise here. You just have to hop on a motorbike and go to Monkey Bay, anywhere in the area. It's the cheapest way to travel. At the moment, there's not a lot of options for restaurants or bars or pubs or anything like that, which is fine because I don't really go out a lot. But when you do want to go out, yeah, then it's a little bit of a problem. But I think there's like two main places that are open right now and I'm gonna pop into one right now from Magoza Lodge. So popping into Magoza Lodge and not far from Magoza is a place called Hiccups. So that's like another local bar in town. Perfect. <laughs> the Como. I like the cold, chilled glass, guys. When the sun starts to set, she sets real fast. Look at how absolutely beautiful this is. Definitely one of the best things about Cape McClear is the absolute picturesque view here. I mean, you just feel like you're sitting in a painting all day, every day. It is so, so beautiful. And enjoying moments like this with a nice cold glass of vino with the sun setting, it's the perfect ambiance. And don't forget, we're on this massive, beautiful lake here, so diving is a big sport. 
So if you're into diving, then you need to do some diving if you come here because apparently the fish are very colorful. There's lots to see. I mean, I've done diving before, but I haven't dove here. So I'm definitely considering doing some diving while I'm here on Lake Malawi because it is supposed to be amazing. So I think uh, when you look at the water, when the sun is shining and it's so clear and it's so turquoise, you can only imagine how much more amazing it is when you're underneath there inside the big fish tank. This is rocking my little world right now. Hmm. A cold glass of wine with a beautiful sunset. I mean, what more could a girl ask for? Look at how beautiful it is all the way down to the end of Cape Clear, around to the corner. You know, you go behind that mountain and that's Monkey Bay on the other side. Uh, it's just stunning. All right, well, that was just a small taste of this beautiful place, Cape McClear, and stay tuned because I do have some more videos that I made while I was visiting. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. I love you all so much, and I'll see you soon.